Welcome to the Milwaukee Public Library Makerspace at Home Edition. I'm Makerspace Facilitator Marcia, and today we're featuring a project from my free Take and Make Kits microscope. If you haven't heard yet, you can now head to your local Milwaukee Public Library branch and pick up a free grab and go Take and Make Kit today. These kits are filled with fun projects for all ages, but younger makers may need help from an older friend. These are available while supplies last, and every few weeks we'll make new projects available. Every kit comes with an instruction booklet, and you can also follow along in our tutorials on YouTube at Milwaukee Public Library. Let's get started. Every kit will have a label listing the materials provided and additional materials you'll need to complete the project. You will find the instruction booklet, a magnifying glass, two plastic microscope slides, a pipette, and a pair of tweezers. You will need a pair of scissors, a clear plastic bottle, a pencil, a ruler, a permanent pen, and a cup of water. You will also need your field collections. Start by collecting your field collections to study. Rain or shine, inside or outdoors, you'll be able to find lots of cool stuff to look at under your microscope. Don't forget to check out your instruction booklet if you need some inspiration. Use a bag this kit came in or recycle other containers for your collections. Begin by taking your clear plastic bottle and remove any labels. Use a pair of scissors and cut the bottle in half. You're going to need four notches for your two microscope slides to sit on. I'm going to show you how to do this with two different colored pens. Begin by marking two rectangles on opposite sides of your bottle. Create another set on the remaining sides of your bottle, but this time a little bit deeper. Make sure these rectangles are wide enough to fit your microscope slides. Next, take a pair of scissors and cut out your rectangles. You've now created the stage for where your microscope slides will go. Your slides should sit crisscross from each other with enough space in between for your specimens to sit on. The microscope slides that came in this kit will have a thin plastic film covering each side. Remove these to get a better view of your specimens. If you would like additional microscope slides, you can recycle clear flat pieces of plastic. This one here came from the packaging of school supplies. Prepare your sample. Take a look at your field collections and select a sample to study. If your field collection is too big for your microscope slide, it is perfectly okay to cut down your sample size. For anything that is hard to handle, try placing it on your microscope slide with the tweezers. Put the microscope slide with the sample into the lower notch. You can observe this with your magnifying glass as is, or you can create a water lens. With your pipette, add a few drops of clean water to a microscope slide and set it in the top notches. This will magnify your sample and you can even inspect further with your magnifying glass as well. If you have a sample that's already in water, you do not need to add a water lens. The instruction booklet that came with your kit has a section for field notes where you can record your observations and make scientific drawings. Take some time to observe and document your findings. We hope you had a great time with your Take and Make kits from the Milwaukee Public Library Makerspace at Home Edition. Please visit the survey link here to give us your feedback, and if you'd like to share your creations with us, please tag us on Instagram at mplcurates or email us at mplcurates at milwaukee.gov. 
Thank you for watching and until the next time, happy making.